Uh, so I apparently managed to join this lobby just as they started, so shout outs to me and my excellent timing. <sighs> Today we're gonna be trying a new team. I'm gonna be looking back, let me just forewarn you, if you are here to see my normal godlike gameplay, which isn't even moderately godlike, but still, let's just pretend I'm the best Nova player in the world because it makes me happy. Uh, you are not, you are going to be sorely disappointed if you're in here looking for like anything remotely resembling quality play. I'm just letting y'all know. Secondly, I started over my Pokemon save file. I started over, I started over. Because basically what ended up happening is kind of like I got to the point where you can choose from the, one of the original three starters And I was like, you know what man? Despite the fact that Charmander is my favorite out of these three. I always pick Charmander Let's go outside of my comfort zone here And instead of picking Charmander, I'll pick Bulbasaur. And so I did. That's what I did. I picked Bulbasaur And then I got about another like two hours or so into it. Oh, excuse me I got about another two hours or so into it and I was just kind of like, eh. I really kind of wish I had Charmander right now. Like, I, I want Charizard. <laughs> so I started over. And that brings us to our first moment of bitching of the day. Why did they make it in all these DS era Pokemon games that you, instead of just being able to, like from the title screen, either continue or start a new game, you have to like, if you want to start a new game, you have to perform some weird random button combination they don't tell you anywhere in the game. You have to either Google it or find the manual in order. I mean, granted, it's better in this one because this, this game has a digital manual. So, I mean, there's no chance in losing it. I don't have to, like, hunt down the box. I can just look it up easily on here. But previously, that was a problem. And I basically ended up always having to Google it. And so, like, you can't start a new game. You have to erase the old save file first. And then you can actually um, start a new game. That annoys me. That frustrates me. I don't like it. Just let me start a new game and save to override the old game file. And now I'm watching a fireworks show with somebody who is apparently going to be my new girlfriend who is wearing far too short of a skirt now that I see that. Like, I'm actually, I get that, that point of view. Speaking of short skirts, actually, you know what? No, we're not going to talk about that. We are going to talk about that. It was a funny moment. Why not? It's not like I don't have, I have anything else to talk about. There was this chick at school... Who I probably ruined her day. She was basically walking in front of me, and it's like she was small enough, and her backpack was large enough to the point where, like, apparently her putting on her backpack had like stuck the bottom of her skirt to the bottom of her backpack. So basically, anybody in the world that was behind her at that point got a look at that booty, and it was not a bad booty. It was actually a pretty nice booty, but me. Being the gentleman that I am, I was far too far behind her, so I just yelled out, Yo, check your skirt. I just yelled it, like, across the parking lot. Like, everybody turned around and looked at me. There were, like, four different girls that all, like, checked their skirt to see, like, what the fuck is this dude on about? Like, is this dude, like, complimenting my skirt? Is he hitting on me? What's going on? And then that girl just, like, pulled her skirt down, looked back at me with, like, this look of horror on her face, and then just walked off, like, as fast as possible. I was like, Yo, you're welcome. No problem horrified that girl but you know what man it's okay because i was just doing the gentlemanly thing <laughs> and that's the story of nate's school week let's not talk about the midterm that i did worse on than i should have like thankfully i did not do badly enough at the midterm to like actually negatively impact my grade like i didn't go down a grade i didn't do that bad but i did do bad enough that i basically killed all uh, wiggle room I had previously to my grade, I didn't, I no longer have, like, a buffer to where I can just, like, eh, I'm lazy right now, I don't feel like doing this assignment, so I'm gonna just not do it. I don't have that anymore. The midterm killed that. I have, like, a 91% in the class now. So now I have to, now I have to be vigilant, actually do all my assignments, and that's what I get for not studying at all. There's your lesson, kids. No matter how smart you may think you are, midterms in college will prove you wrong. Well, it depends on the class. Some classes you can easily get away with it. But uh, when it comes to computer science, I mean, unless you already have, like... Like me, I'm not the kind of person that's like, can peel apart computers and like rebuild them and stuff like that. 
that is interesting to me, but I've just, I've never actually done it. But other people have, so like if people have done that, they probably already would be able to do that without studying. But without previous experience, you're not going to be able to do that. I didn't have that previous experience, and I didn't study, and I paid for it. I paid for it, I paid for it, and I deserve it. So that was, ba that was my school week. Saved Skirt Girl from like an obscene amount of embarrassment by just embarrassing her a little bit. And then fucking up a midterm. Oh, four. <laughs> you can't do shit. That's hilarious. Oh my god, he actually... Like, for how long it just took to run down those last two seconds, if he had actually picked up that command grab, he would've won. That dude would've won. Too bad he didn't continue it. So speak... Well, actually, maybe not speaking of Pokemon. We may... I think we might be up next. I'm not sure. If we're not up next... We'll do bitchin' moment number two. We are up next. So we're gonna wait until after we lose. Cause... There's no doubt about it! Oh god, the lobby got full. That sucks. I don't wanna wait until the next round to be able to play again. So I better do my damnedest to win! I better win! Eventually I wanna kill Sentinel and have- oh god. I'm not going to be able to beat Magneto at all with any of these characters. I don't know how to beat his movement. I mean, like, they do have a way, but, uh, I'm not going to. Not me. See? Fucking shit. Yeah, this sucks. This is what I get for picking this team. Like, I just, I can't beat Magneto with this team. Oh, that sucks. Obviously, we didn't want that. Oh, uh, I was blocking high, but okay. Why would you even do that? Like, I didn't even bother blocking, because why the fuck would you do that? You had an easy kill. Alright, so let's, just, let's remember that for next time. Person gonna be hella scrubby and do completely unnecessary shit. Alright, see? Completely unnecessary shit. That was a free kill. Am I getting perfected? I think I'm getting perfected. Pretty sure I'm getting perfected. So shoutouts to my buttons coming out. Again, as per usual. Shoutouts to the buttons coming out as per usual. God damn it, I hate my life. <laughs> like, that's not a zero frame super. One of these days, like, shit will happen that I want to do. One of these days, shit will happen. I mean, like, I'm, like I said... I'm trashed with that team. I wasn't about to beat this dude in the first place. I'm not gonna beat Magneto with those characters without knowing how to beat Magneto with those characters. That's just plain and simple. But, uh, it would have been nice if the stuff that I had intended to do had actually come out in the first place. So that, like, I could have actually maybe had a chance at killing the character, rather than just, like, oh, hey, the one thing that's gonna come out in this enti the entirety of this match is going to be this, um, oh, let's do it, yo. Is going to be this crossover counter that you didn't want. <laughs> that's the only thing that's gonna come out is something you didn't want in the first place. Thanks! Shout outs to you. I love online so much. It's so compelling. There's such good, compelling reasons to play online. God damn it. Alright, so I'm not. Mm, I should. I mean, now that we're in a three person lobby, see the problem again with lobbies is that in a lobby like that, if I lose, life sucks. Because I don't give a shit about watching other players. Nobody online is good enough that I care about watching them play. I mean, this isn't just like some kind of like... Egotistical thing on my part, like, yo, I'm better than everybody and only people only want to watch me. No, of course not. I am well aware of the fact that nobody watches these videos that I put out 
because of the compelling, amazing, pro-level gameplay. <laughs> I have no illusions as to how good I am at this game. And it always amuses me when people are like, actually take me seriously when I'm like, oh my god, I'm the best! Like it isn't obviously a joke. But still, it's just, for me personally, it's just not really particularly fun to watch the majority of online play. Most of the people are pretty bad. <laughs> Range from pretty bad to holy shit, this hurts my chest bad. But anyway, so let's talk about the thing that I wanted to talk about at the beginning. Judgmental pieces of shit. This homie, if, I don't know if this dude actually watches all my videos, if he's even going to see this. But let me just put this out there. Anybody that judges somebody else because of their hobby is a complete piece of shit. Like, this extends to everything. This isn't just like a video game. Oops, this isn't just a video game thing. This isn't just, you know, like, hey, how about you fuck off? about me liking Pokemon. I like Pokemon, and I'm gonna play Pokemon as much as I damn well please, so fuck off about me liking Pokemon. It's not even that. It's anything, like music, videos. It frustrates me. Not actually, it doesn't actually frustrate me, but like, I just think people are complete pieces of shit in regard to other people's enjoyments and hobbies. And that like, this dude hopped on my last video like, oh my god, you like Pokemon? How old are you again? It even, especially, just so I can be a judgmental piece of shit back, it even amused the living shit out of me that this dude goes on to say, like, yo, I walk by these grown men playing Pokemon all the time on my way to play Magic the Gathering and Naruto. Like, really? I'm pretty sure that most of this judgmental piece of crap world is going to be more judgmental about your enjoyment of Naruto than they are going to be of my enjoyment of Pokemon. But let's, let's get in there. Get in there and talk crap about my enjoyments. You piece of shit. I just, I have no respect for anybody because the, the best case scenario is you get somebody like me who just couldn't care less about what you think about my hobbies. You will never, like, manage to shame me into not enjoying my hobbies. But there are other people out there who do not have the same level of self-confidence that I do, who kind of depend on, like, why did that cross me up? I hate Morrigan. We'll continue this after I lose, because I hate Morrigan. Her normals are stupid. Ugh. Really? Her launcher just beat my crouching height? Like, really? And then she ducks under my... Well, that just sucks. She was obviously supposed to be down for longer. Yeah, that's fine. If I end a Wesker, what's gonna happen? Who cares? That doesn't. That's gonna do no damage. Did not want that. supposed to be a super jumpy lead it's supposed to be an air grab I deserve that one like that was just a what I didn't deserve that oh I hate my life Blah. That sucks. Hey, what up, lag? What up, lag? Oh, I don't want the web ball.
I'm gonna use X Factor. Bitch. <laughs> oh, my Spider Man is disappointing. My Spider Man is disappointing. I didn't even talk during that, did I? I was too focused on trying to play Spider Man and I didn't even do it well. I need to. The one thing that I like, I know what I should be doing for Mix Up for Spider Man. Like, I should be canceling blocked, um. Block chains into, um, like his upward zip and then go for overheads off of that. Like, I know that's pretty dirty by itself, but I'm not really sure what to do because, like, if people just started blocking high after I did, like, a move, I'm not really sure what I would do in response to that because Spider Man. Actually, I want to check this shit out. Where is my Ultimate Marvel guide? There it is. Let's yank this off. We're gonna have to look at it after. Oh god damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna lose the Trish. Like I'm I'm just going to lose the Trish here. There's no question about it. I lost a Trish. I should have noticed that. losing sentinel because uh, shit doesn't come out i mean we've already established that this game is terribly laggy all right that was my fault that guy was just bad footsies on my part but yeah i mean i got fucked over by lag again what are you gonna do i hate this game online that's what we're gonna do fuck i hate my life don't tell me this connection is five bars you stupid game I mean, obviously, that was my game. Like, that was entirely my game. The person was literally sitting there mashing into Sentinel, which is free for me. That's completely free for me. And instead of my buttons coming out and shit, I lost. I mean, what are you going to do? No, that was not a good game. You won because of lag. Go away. He also won because I don't know how to pick up air throws with Spider-Man yet. You can pick up air throws with Spider-Man. Very... I mean, I think I kind of figured it out, potentially, like, dash, I mean, not dash in, do the, um, um, what's it called? Heavy. Do the little downwards command dash thing, heavy, land, do combo. I think that's how it's gonna work. I believe I just figured that out, but, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll find out, we'll find out. But it looks like this person isn't here. 
Because I'm paying attention. God damn it. Because <laughs> like, I really want to play Spider-Man, but I think I'm going to end up with the same thing that's always happened with me with Chris. And that, like, I'm going to play him for a little while and just be like, I can't. I don't have the mindset for this character. I just, I don't have the mindset to be able to play this character effectively. You know what I should do? work on my execution is what it should do. Oh, that move has so... Oh, I forgot to check that. His, his heavy moves have so much recovery time, it's absurd. God damn it! God damn it! Shit, okay, you know, alright, 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 I deserve that. Yeah, go ahead, throw the rockets, I don't give a shit. Yo, shout outs to this lag out of nowhere. This is fun. Get up! He didn't get up. And I hit S like a fucking retard. I deserve that. I mean, that's my fault. I, I knew that wasn't gonna hit, but I did it anyway because I'm a hopeful little stupid piece of shit. lag is awesome. Oh my god, I hate this game. There you are, hit him. So shout out to this game, shout out to online. That just sucked. That just sucked. I sucked. The opposing players sucked. The connection sucked. It was a trifecta of suck. So I apologize for that. Actually, we're going to leave this, firstly. Get the hell out of here. Peace out. You have fun in your connection. Spider-Man, you are a Marvel character in page 312. You are deep in here. Oops. All right, let me see. Crouching basic attacks. Oh, my God. <laughs> His crouching heavy is negative 22 on block. And that's the move that I go into, because if you do standing heavy with Spider-Man, they, well, most of the time, majority of the time, they, it pushes them out of spider sting range so that you can't hit it, so you'll whiff spider sting. Now, that's not too bad, because you can cancel spider sting, <laughs> spider sting into his command dash. So that's not, like, a terrible situation to be in. But, uh, yeah, if I go into Crouching Heavy, if I whiff Crouching Heavy, I'm in trouble. Negative 22 on block. Because, dude, like, if you actually watch the animation or if you've ever played Spider-Man and seen the animation, he will basically, like, he'll swing, he'll stand up, and then there's just, like, a split, a split second of time where you can tell, like, he's just not in block. He's not ready to go into anything else yet. Like, he's just sitting there waiting to be hit. 
Jesus, negative 22 on block, good lord. So anyway, life lessons learned here. Firstly, be a gentleman to females. If something is showing that shouldn't be showing, don't sit back and enjoy it. Don't take a picture of it like an asshole and post it on the internet. Be a gentleman and let them know. Let them know. Sometimes you'll probably get slapped for this because some females suck, but that's just the risk you have to do in life. Sometimes you get smacked when you try to do something nice and that's just life. And you gotta roll with it. Just accept it. Accept that this person is a worthless whore and move along. Second life lesson. Study for tests. <laughs> Don't just go in like, ah, I'll be fine. You probably won't. You might if it's like an English class. Because for most people, that's... There's no real issue there. Granted, this is the internet, and so for quite a few people on the internet, that is an issue. But thankfully, the majority of the people who leave comments on my videos, I love you to death. Y'all some pretty intelligent people with a mastery of the English language that is far above average of the usual YouTube comments page. So shout outs to you smart, intelligent, beautiful individuals Except for that dude, and this, may, this amuses me because this dude, his comments were below average and also judgmental as fuck of anybody who enjoyed Pokemon that was over the age of like 15 or something, I'm assuming. He just said, oh, you're a grown man, why are you playing Pokemon, that shit. Fuck people like you that feel the need to be judgmental about somebody else's hobby. Let them be, let them live their life, and let them enjoy what they want to enjoy. Because again, I kind of got into I didn't quite finish this. This was a thought that I was going to finish after the match, and I think I got distracted by Spider-Man. Spider-Man's crouching heavy being negative fucking 22 on block. Um, you got people like me who, again, I don't give a shit what you think. Like, plain and simple. If you, like, you want to argue with me about something that is like a political viewpoint that where it's not just purely opinion-based, like there's actually some factual like misinformation in my thought process or something that you want to like be like no 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 hold up this this and this happened so you are incorrect they're like by all means teach the shit out of me make me less ignorant and i will love you but when it comes to something like music enjoyment of videos enjoyment of video games enjoyment of books shit that is purely entirely subjective piss off if you want to try and tell me that like this thing sucks and you know like you're immature or something for enjoying it or whatever you can piss off like that immediately just tells me you are a person that i will never take seriously you are a person that i will never respect and you are a person that i could not care less about it's just pure and simple like, i don't care if you are a billionaire or a bum on the street if you act like that immediately i couldn't care less about you and you can just go fuck yourself because again you either got people like me who are like that where i just couldn't i could not care less what you have to think what you think is not going to impact my enjoyment of my hobbies but then there are other people out there who they are they're not as self-confident as i am they put more stock in what other people think than i do and they care like they're easily pushed around and because of that, these people may end up stopping something, some hobby. They may stop doing it, stop participating in it, something that they love and that gives them fulfillment in life. And that's what you've done. Because you felt the need to be a complete piece of shit to this person for no good reason other than the fact that you think that your hobbies are superior to their hobbies. And that is just complete... Oh, I wish I could just line up everybody that thinks like that and give them a swift kick to the balls or the vagina, whichever they happen to have. Because they completely fucking deserve it. And it sickens me to see people like that impacting other people, impacting their enjoyment of life for no good reason, other than the fact that you're just a complete piece of shit asshole that doesn't deserve to breathe. And that's that. That's that. 